In this video, I'm going to show you how to block gambling and the betting sites on your phone. So the first thing you want to do, you want to open up Google or your search engine and you want to type in NextDNS, okay? Once you do that, you want to go to the first website, which is nextdns.io. You want to click on that. And then after you're in here, you want to make sure you sign up. Now you don't have to sign up, but to basically save your settings, you will have to just create your account. It's going to be very simple. You'll have to put in your email and then a password and then that's going to be it. Now I'm going to go ahead and once you sign in, this is what you're going to see over here. Now you want to scroll through at the very top. So you want to scroll through this navigation bar until you see the deny list. Click on deny list. And then over here, it says denying a domain will automatically deny all its subdomains. Now, what you're going to do here is you want to type in a domain of the website of, for example, a gambling or betting website you would like to block. So, for example, here, I'm just going to add in Instagram.com because I know it's domain. But of course, for you, you're going to put in the domain of a specific website you would like to block. So, for example, Instagram.com over here. And then once you do that, once you've typed in your uh, address, you would like to block. So it's always going to be something.com or .net or dot whatever it's going to be. And then you want to click on the arrow at the bottom right to confirm this. And as you can see, it's now going to get popped into this list over here and you can just enable it or disable it wherever you want. Now, of course, if you want to keep on blocking it, you want to make sure it's on the blue like this. So the toggle switch is on. So once you've done this, you want to go ahead and scroll at the top where you can see this navigation bar and go to setup at the left. There we go. And now inside setup, you will have to scroll down until you see this part over here where it says recommended private DNS. Now you want to copy this bit over here, which is going to be there we go. The one I just marked over here, you want to copy this to your clipboard. And then after it, you want to make sure you open up settings on your device. Once you open up your settings, go to search settings at the top and you want to type in DNS search for that and wait for your results to pop up. Now a few things should pop up over here. And the ones you're going to look at is private DNS or private DNS provider host name. So click on private DNS. And here you want to make sure it's not an off, it's not an automatic, but it has to be in private DNS provider host name, click on that. And then here where it says custom name, click on this and then paste in what we just copied earlier and click on save. Now, after you do this, your custom private DNS will be set and then you can just go to that specific website and it should start blocking it. OK, so, for example, over here, if I go to Instagram.com like this, I'm going to just open this up. It opened up my app because, I, of course, I have the Instagram app on my phone. But for example, if you would like to go ahead and open up your um, Instagram via the browser or any other websites, because of course, you're likely not going to be blocking IG, you're going to be blocking some other websites, you'll see that your website will be blocked. And uh, of course, if you want to ever modify this, you just want to go to the website we were on at the very beginning, and you simply want to modify it, uh, update your deny list, and then you're good to go. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.